Escape sequences are used in the programming languages C and C++, and also in many more languages like Java and C. An escape sequence is a sequence of characters that does not represent itself when used inside a character or string literal, but is translated into another character or a sequence of characters that may be difficult or impossible to represent directly. In C, all escape sequences consist of two or more characters, the first of which is the backslash, backslash. The remaining characters determine the interpretation of the escape sequence. For example, backslash n is an escape sequence that denotes a new line character. The remainder of this article focuses on C. Other programming languages are likely to have different syntax and semantics. Motivation, suppose we want to print out hello, on one line, followed by world. On the next line. One could attempt to represent the string to be printed as a single literal as follows. This is not valid in C, since a string literal may not span multiple logical source lines. This can be worked around by printing the new line character using its numerical value. This instructs the program to print hello followed by the character whose numerical value is 0xOA, followed by world. While this will indeed work when the machine uses the ASCII encoding, it will not work on systems that use other encodings, that have a different numerical value for the new line character. It is also not a good solution because it still does not allow us to represent a new line character inside a literal, and instead takes advantage of the semantics of PRINTF. In order to solve these problems and ensure maximum portability between systems, C interprets backslash n inside a character or string literal as a new line character, whatever that may be on the target system. In this code, the escape sequence backslash n does not stand for a backslash followed by the letter n, because the backslash causes an escape from the normal way characters are interpreted by the compiler. After seeing the backslash, the compiler expects another character to complete the escape sequence and then translates the escape sequence into the character it is intended to represent. Thus, hello, backslash nwo or ld, represents a string with an embedded new line, regardless of whether it is used inside printf or anywhere else. This raises the issue of how to represent an actual backslash inside a literal. This is done by using the escape sequence backslash backslash, as seen in the next section. Table of escape sequences, the following escape sequences are defined in standard C. This table also shows the values they map to in ASCII. However, these escape sequences can be used on any system with a C compiler, and may map to different values if the system does not use a character encoding based on ASCII. Equals notes equals, each escape sequence in the above table maps to a single character, including backslash n. This is despite the fact that the platform may use more than one character to denote a new line, such as the MS-DOS Windows CRLF sequence, 0xOD0xOA. The translation from 0xOA to 0xOD0xOA on MS-DOS and Windows occurs when the character or string is written out to a file or to the console, but backslash n only creates a single character within the memory of the program itself. A hex escape sequence must have at least one hex digit following backslash x, with no upper bound. It continues for as many hex digits as there are. Thus, for example, backslash x apcdefk denotes the character with the numerical value abcdef16, followed by the letter g, which is not a hex digit. However, if the resulting integer value is too large to fit in a single character, the actual numerical value assigned is implementation defined. Most platforms have 8 bit chart types, which limits a useful hex escape sequence to two hex digits. However, hex escape sequences longer than two hex digits might be useful inside a wide character or string literal. An octal escape sequence consists of backslash followed by one, two, or three octal digits. The octal escape sequence ends when it either contains three octal digits already, or the next character is not an octal digit. For example, backslash 11 is a single octal escape sequence denoting a character with numerical value 9, rather than the escape sequence backslash 1 followed by the digit 1. However, 
Backslash 1111 is the octal escape sequence backslash 111 followed by the digit 1. In order to denote the character with numerical value 1, followed by the digit 1, one could use backslash 11, since C automatically concatenates adjacent string literals. Note that some three digit octal escape sequences may be too large to fit in a single character. This results in an implementation defined value for the character actually produced. The escape sequence backslash zero is a commonly used octal escape sequence, which denotes the null character, with value zero. Equals non-standard escape sequences equals, a sequence such as backslash z is not a valid escape sequence according to the C standard as it is not found in the table above. The C standard requires such invalid escape sequences to be diagnosed. Notwithstanding this fact, some compilers may define additional escape sequences, with implementation defined semantics. An example is the backslash e escape sequence, which is 1b as the hexadecimal value in ASCII, represents the escape character, and is supported in GCC, Clang and TCC. Equals universal character names equals, since the C99 standard, C has also supported escape sequences that denote Unicode code points and string literals. Such escape sequences are called universal character names, and have the form backslash uxxxx or backslash uxxxxxxxxx, where x stands for a hex digit. Unlike the other escape sequences considered, a universal character name may expand into more than one code unit. The sequence backslash uxxxx denotes the code point xxxx, interpreted as a hexadecimal number. The sequence backslash uxxxxxxxx denotes the code point xxxxxxxxx, interpreted as a hexadecimal number. The code point is converted into a sequence of code units in the encoding of the destination type on the target system. For example, consider the string S1 will contain a single char object whose numerical value, the actual value stored in memory, is in fact 0xco. However, the string S2 will contain the character a euro, U plus OOCO Latin capital letter O with grave. It may contain more than one char. Their number and values depend on the encoding used by the system. On a system that uses the UTF-8 encoding, the string S2 will contain two char objects, 0xc30x80. The string S3 contains a single WCHART object, again with numerical value 0xco. The string S4 contains the character a euro encoded into WCHART objects. If the UTF-16 encoding is used, then S4 will also contain only a single WCHART, 16 bits long, with numerical value 0xoco. A universal character name such as backslash U0001F603 may be represented by a single WCHART object if the UTF-32 encoding is used, or two if UTF-16 is used. Importantly, the universal character name backslash U00CO always denotes the character a euro, regardless of what kind of string literal it is used in, or the encoding in use. Again, Backslash U0001F603 always denotes the character at code point 1F60316, regardless of context. On the other hand, octal and hex escape sequences always denote certain sequences of numerical values, regardless of encoding. Therefore, universal character names are complementary to octal and hex escape sequences. While octal and hex escape sequences represent physical characters, Universal character names represent code points, which may be thought of as logical characters. References ISO IEC 9899-1999, Programming Languages A Euro C, Kernighan, Brian W. Ritchie, Dennis M. The C Programming Language. Prentice Hall. ISBN 9780133086218. Lafour, Robert. Object-Oriented Programming in Turbo C++. Galgosha Publications.
ISBN 9788185623221. See also, Escape Sequence.